Thank Don't you. worry at all. Uh, good luck. It was great. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa. I'm very happy to be here with you today, sharing the power of creators and developers. Let's talk about robots. Imagine a world where students are 30% more involved in their computing, computer science studies thanks to humanoid robots. A world where autonomous robots are helping universities to be at the forefront of the research. A world where children are happy to do math because they are teached by a very cute humanoid robot. Or even happy to learn foreign languages because they don't have the stress to be judged by a human teacher. Or simply to have robots providing fun to people. This world is reality. You have already seen Pepper. You will see other robots all the day long. This world is already reality. Pepper has been created by Aldebaran, a French company, part of SoftBank Group, and the robot has been created together with SoftBank and for SoftBank. Aldebaran today is the world leader of this humanoid robotics. We already sold more than 6,000 robots around the world to high schools, universities, companies, and already developers or creators who are already exploring this new world of robotics. I founded the company nine years ago, and since nine years we had time to, to think deep about what should be a robot, well, our vision of what a robot should be. And we've created a, a very specific concept. First, three parts are important, cute, humanoid, and kind. Then we can help people, then we can have robots here for the well-being of humankind. So let's enter deeper inside these three points. First pillar, cute robot. Because we want to have robots helping people, we need to have acceptability. We need to have people liking robots. We need to have people willing to have robots at home. And I don't want to have only engineers, geeks, nerds playing with robots. We want to have everyone feeling comfortable with robots. So of course it's a question of shape, design, appearance, but it's also a question of design of movements. You have seen Pepper, and you, you, you understand what I mean with design of movements. Of course, it's a question of sound design, too. It's a question of behaviors. It's a question of a, a lot of things that, we, that will make the robot cute and nice. What I want is when people are seeing one of our robots in a, in a shop, they say, wow, kawaii des, I want it. So this is what we, we, we were to go, because it's the way to bring to people what robotics can bring to them if they are accepting the robots. So now, how to do that? How have we done that? And what is needed for good interaction, for good interface? Technology is more and more complex. All the more and more complex, more and more difficult to, to understand and to enter, and sometimes creating problems. So all the large companies, high-tech companies, are working a lot on interfaces. Touch screen, uh, voice recognition, uh, glasses, or connected watches, or whatever. The goal is to give access to people to the technology, kind of reducing the brain effort to use objects and technology. Of course, we have the same. But what is the most natural shape to interact with, if not humanoid shape? We are, we are meant to interact and to understand, not, not with our brain, but understand in our guts what, what movements are saying, what body language is saying, what emotional face are transmitting. So 
humanoid shape is absolutely key if we want to have a perfectly intuitive interface, a perfectly natural way to interact with robots. So we call that the ultimate interface. Humanoid robots are the ultimate interface to have people interacting, entering with technology. And the third pillar is about well-intentioned robots, kind robots. We want the robot to enhance people. We want the robot to bring them fun, to make them smile. We want robots to help uh, fighting against sadness, loneliness. We want robots to uh, connect people with their relatives. So it's very important to have this kind of benevolent robot, the robot liking people. So it's a question of, it's a question of, of um, behaviors of the robot, but more it's a question of ethics too. The last thing you want is to have a spying robot at home. You know the robot that will be here uh, when you are speaking with your friends and family. Oh, I'm wondering whether I don't have to change my car or I don't know where I will go on holidays. And the day after you receive advertisement about holidays or about cars. Wow. Will you be comfortable with this robot? So the ethics is a key question inside the robot. We need to have the robot kind, benevolent, to have the ro robot as friends of people. So when we have a robot at home, a robot with someone, for me, the star is not the robot. The star is the person, the star is the people. So robots have to help people growing. So when we are gathering these three pillars, cute in order to have them very well accepted at home by everyone, humanoid shapes so very easy to interact with and connected by the way, and kind and benevolent robots, then we have a very powerful concept. This concept turned us world leader. How are we doing that? First, we have robots. You have already seen Pepper. Some of you already know now the smaller one, but the other will discover it. He's here today. And we have a third robot called Romeo, larger size, a research platform to explore the safety of more powerful robots. Of course, our robots have to be safe. All these robots are sharing the same values of Aldebaran, designed to interact with humans. But more than the values are sharing the same operating system. On top of the robot, on top of the hardware, we've designed, we've created an amazing operating system, robotics operating system, called Naoki, Naoki OS. All our robots are powered by this Naoki OS operating system, uh, embedding deep inside the operating system all the functions of interaction with people, of dialogue, of communication, of emotion understanding. Our robots are meant to understand the emotion of people, read emotion. Of course, here we are at the beginning of the story. We already have something, it's not fantastic, and we are improving day after day. But they are meant for that because it's important in communication. Plus, we have SDK. We have a graphical tool to make everyone able to do something with his robot. Everyone in half an hour is able to make his robot doing something. So this is very important. And then we have an application store to share all these applications together. So it's a step-by-step -step strategy we have from the beginning. And this strategy is important because uh, we are counting on the fact that there are many, many people around the world who want to be part of this revolution. He wants to be part of this new, new uh, uh, rupture, disruptive system with the robots. But some have a very good expertise knowledge in software or in application or in interaction or in communication, whatever. So for them, it's very difficult to design a platform and to build a robot. Then, now that we have our robots and they are affordable, everyone can join and bring his own value added. So together, Let's reveal the fun and helping power of companion robots. For now, for the future, imagine a world where robots will help elderly, where robots will take care of your home, or where insurance industry or entertainment industry uh, will use robots everywhere. There will be robots in each and every store, each and every mall, in each and every airport. So let's create together this world of tomorrow. It's the birth of a new industry. 
like the PCs 30 years ago or the mobile phone uh, in the early 90s. Uh, it's the beginning of a new industry where designing, creating applications for robots will be a huge business. So take part of that right from the beginning. And if you want to join us, if you want to join the community of people who will develop and who will create this world, we created Atelier. Atelier are places where you can meet with the robot, you can discover this concept, but you can more, moreover, you can meet with other people, other developers. Our atelier are kind of the house, the home of the developers. We have one atelier in Paris for already two months, one in Omotesando since August, and a new one will open tomorrow in Akihabara. It will be an atelier dedicated to the developer community. So if you want to join us, if you want to be part of this adventure, we will be very happy because it's only all together that we will be able to create this new revolution. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bruno. Thank you so much, Bruno. Bye-bye.